Hey, hello, and welcome. I'm Zyder, and we are back again. And, uh, we are going to... Oh, well, it's coming night. Yes. Oh, yeah, it just became night. I'm going to do something potentially stupid and or brave, depending on how you want to look at it. First of all, I want to pick up some, uh, some gunpowder. There's a creeper. I'm not gonna need too much, just a little bit. That was interesting. I was expecting him to at least move a little bit when I hit him. Oh, skeleton. I decided it was safer to just shoot him, not worry about it. Anything else I can deal with my sword, but I don't really want to mess with the skeleton. I don't believe it's possible to take zero damage from them. Because, I mean, I have my armor pretty enchanted out, and it's not making it zero, so. There's one gunpowder. I don't think I'm going to bother with just one potion. And I'm going to have to go back to the nether, which is why I'm keeping a relatively straight line going here. Hello, Mr. Spider. And zombie. So, the low levels of experience tend to come through very quickly. Having a quick look around. Probably gonna want more arrows. I guess I can ditch the dirt. Oh. Hey, you. Stop making noises. Also, give me your flesh. Stop running! Now. I don't know if I trust this. Hey there, guy. Oh, yeah. There's an ender pearl. If I keep finding chickens, that'll make me very happy. Which I could just make a chicken farm, I suppose. But it takes, I think, a whole in-game day and night or something to make them grow up. I don't remember chickens walking so loud. Wasn't sure if I heard another one, so I was being quiet. Oh. There's definitely more chicken. And zombie. Walking, but that might be another chicken. Stop it! <coughs> Stupid chicken. <coughs> wow, there's a lot of chickens. That is good because a lot of chicken means a lot of food. Not quite as much food as if I was killing cows, but uh, I get feathers, which means I can make arrows. More chickens. 
chickens, chickens. I don't hear any chickens. Ooh, that's a skeleton. Nope, not going that way. I want my cobblestone back. And I believe I just saw a chicken on a tree. Oh. Oh, you hit me, you bastard. Thank you. Right, the cobblestone that I got distracted from because of a stupid skeleton. Now, I'm hoping when we find the stronghold, we find a golden apple or gold or anything to make things more quick. Speaking of spider eyes, here's some spiders. And there's a cow, a couple of cows. Oh, crap. I'm glad he missed. This is why I shouldn't be out at night. Waste of my health bar. Things I could easily do during the day. Now, I know from my experiences in Gift Warped, I'd have to make quite literally like five bookcases. And at nine reads per bookcase, that would take me like 40 something. Which is quite a bit. Yeah, somewhere I can't pick up your steak just this very second. Nothing around me? Okay. Crap. I have so much stuff, none of which do I want to get rid of. You know what? Screw the higher level enchanting. It's pointless. What's not pointless, though, is ridiculous amounts of cow meat. Oh, oh you bastard. Was that critical strike necessary? Probably not. Did I do it anyway? Yeah, I did. Now, in order to just conserve time, I think what I'll do is I'll get all the food and stuff cooked up off camera. I'll farm flint while it's cooking, and then I will be back with you guys after I do that. Except for we're going to go back and find the place first, so that way we know that I'm in a safe location. Which shouldn't be too hard to find, because I covered the top in cobblestone to make it more noticeable, and I had w walked in a mostly straight line from the, uh, well, towards the trees, not from the trees. So, whoop. Maybe not quite as straight of a line as I had expected, but I think think it's over this way somewhere because I know it was farther out I didn't see the trees offhand I don't believe and I think I was off to the side of them so it's probably over here somewhere hey village oh, I've probably lost that stupid nether portal again I wonder if they have a blacksmith If he has diamonds, that'd be nice. I have a very bad feeling I'm not going to be able to find the, uh, thing. Descriptive, I know. Find the, uh, the nether portal again. 
seem to have large issues keeping track of that stuff. And it doesn't look like there's a blacksmith here. You guys will not be robbed today. Or ever, because you have nothing worth stealing. Hmm. I should have built like a tar pillar and then like water dropped off of it. If I would have built a tar pillar, I could have easily seen that. Okay, there's some dirt. And if I remember, I don't remember. That's right. If I remember, I don't remember. Maybe it was over this way. I really wish I had a better memory. Now, I really do want to have a good number of splash health potions before I go into uh, the end. So I probably want to find at least one more gold blocks worth. And I also have that pumpkin, so that way I don't have to worry about the Enderman. You know, this is a very expansive desert. And that's not helping matters with finding stuff. Now, I think the easiest way to find it would probably be to try and find that cliffside that I dug into, but... <sighs> Getting close to half an episode I've spent. The first half is looking for food, and the second half is looking for the nether portal. This desert is ridiculous. Hmm. Did I really just find the other nether portal? I didn't seriously just find the other nether portal, did I? I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're all the same to me. Yeah, this is definitely the other nether portal. All the same to me. Left a workbench here. Got this chest here so I can drop off things. I'll put the gunpowder in here for the moment. Uh, I'm not going to come out at this nether portal. You know what? I'm going to grab the gunpowder. We're going to walk in here. And then we're going to walk back out so we can go to the other nether portal. The one where I will come out. And I'll set up a chicken farm over here. Which is simple. I won't be able to use my water in the nether, so I don't need to worry too much. Sand. Always an annoyance. Now, the really easy way of going about this is basically put that there. I'm going to need a sign. I'm also going to need inventory space. There's a furnace here. Might as well get this beef cooking. Uh, workbench. So, to make more torches with the leftover. Okay, torches. 
Okay. Now, take this sign, place it there. You take this cobble, fill this in. Place the water here. And the eggs don't deal damage to the, uh, the things. We got two. It's not great, but it'll do, I suppose. Throw the random crap away. There's cobblestone in there. See, this is exactly why I shouldn't be trying to get cobblestone from the roof. Digging right here on the other side. Anyhow, I'm going to farm up some gravel so I can use up these feathers. Of which I'll be able to do this and get exactly eight of these so there won't be any extra. Oh, I didn't bring any gravel. Did you leave some here? No. <sighs> Whatever. I'll do with what I have for arrows at the moment. But, uh. Well, I guess this food's almost cooked, too. Two more in here. I'm gonna move this like this so I can do something really ninja fast. Now, one of those pieces of coal is going to get extremely wasted. I guarantee it. People are probably not going to be happy with me. But like I said, I want to make sure I have at least 20 ender eyes, because that'll give me 11 to f try and find the stronghold. Well, the thing is, what I can do is I can make them. So I'm sitting here wasting time. We only got about... Ugh, bad on math. Once again. Okay, so... We've got about 13 minutes... My math is right. Yeah, sounds right. So, and which, whenever I get enough blaze power to be happy, I have no reason to go back to the nether, so I'm going to get rid of this flint and steel. The only reason I still have it is in case my portal gets shut down. Uh, I got enough food for now. I'm going to go kill blazes. guests yet. Uh. Okay. For some reason, I couldn't see them. I was like, crap! Where is my elix elixirs? Fire resistance potions, because this would be extremely impossible without them. Now, I'm only going to need four blaze rods to get 20, get up to 20 blaze powder, so... It's not going to take me very long. Waste a little bit of food here, just because I don't want to have to worry about starving to death from attacking things. Drink this potion right now. Oh, he meleeed me. See, I don't want to waste arrows on them if I can help it. I need four blaze rods. Why couldn't they just drop some? See, right now the biggest thing I'm worried about is them spawning over the edges, because then they'll be a lost cause. Or if they fly up really fast, they'll be a lost cause. If I knock them up in the air, there'll be a lost cause. <laughs> kind of spawned on me and startled me there.
Should I be up here doing this? No. Am I? Yes. Probably wondering what exactly I'm doing. Gonna wait till they spawn again. Just so I don't risk getting double melee spawnerfied. Come on. Okay. Is this using up quite a bit of cobble? Yes. But the point behind this is it should prevent them from flying up too high and escaping, essentially. Unless it's that guy and he decides to go out like that. Eh, he didn't drop the blaze right in there. Oh. Oh, I got him! Oh, he spawned outside. Why do blazes always insist on flying away? Hmm. Ha ha. You fly up, and you get stuck on the little lip now. That might slow it down a bit, but hopefully what that'll do is it'll stop them from spawning outside. Am I at four? Okay, we can leave. Just take some cobble back. I'm gonna leave all that cobble up there. Just because don't want to mess with that. And this way. This is a good thing about marking things with torches. I don't have to worry about really getting lost. Now, I have two ender pearls already. So, where are you? I hear you. Oh, what? There we go. That one totally should have hit him, though. Tell you what, though, I'm a lot better at killing gas whenever I'm not doing it at, like, 10 o'clock at night after I finally fixed my sleep schedule, which means that I'm actually rather tired at that time. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Oh, you know what we should do, guys? I actually want to go back to the nether real quick. And you're probably wondering... What the hell could you possibly want in the nether now? I'll tell you what I could want in the nether. If I could see any offhand. Hmm. But, uh, one of the things, there's, like, I don't know how you want to count them, but there's a block that shows up in the nether that also shows up in the real world that drops flint. I was going to see if I could find some. Just drop some torches so I can find my way back. Even though I don't want to go too far. Uh, well, it's all soul sand over here, so... Well, never mind with that plan. That was a waste of time. Like two minutes of it. I do remember seeing gravel the last time I was in here though, so I don't know. So this 
in there. Stack this there. Hey, go in the hole. Okay. Uh, redstone. I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't need longevity. I only need the glowstone now, so. Make some ender pearls. Ender pearls. Eyes of ender. Grab what's left of my chicken. I did end up wasting an entire coal, but I'm not too worried about that. If I'm right, it's probably about nighttime out right now. Oh, that's not the exit. Okay, it is nighttime. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, this way. Travel this way for a couple hundred blocks and then we'll use it again. Do you know that one food haunch will take you, f I think it's 400 blocks, if you aren't sprinting. Go, my ender pearl. Ah, got it back. I keep going the ender pearls, but these are eyes of ender. Oh, that was a dumb mistake. I see an Enderman. There's also a skeleton near him. Looks like I have just enough blocks to make one of those platforms. Oops. Overshot by quite a bit. I don't trust it on an unflat surface. Now, uh, oops. Rip these down. Place that there, that there. Okay. <coughs> Do me a favor, drop an ender pearl with it. No? Uh, what a cheapskate. Apparently, the sun is rising. Got about two minutes, but I don't want to stop just yet. I want to see... Uh, it's going to be one of those episodes where I'm going to wait. I'm going to end up... It's going to end up being like 35 minutes or so, like all the other ones. Who? Send me back this way. Why are you sending me this way? Did I miss something here? Oh! Oh! The ground ate my ender pearl. Or ender eye. Eye of ender. This pick's going to break soon. Safest way to dig down? No, but I'm standing on two blocks at once so that way I don't fall directly into something. Last thing I want is something jumping on my head. I should have just made like a staircase. Okay. Fuck, I forgot my water. Oh no. Please don't tell me that it's... Seriously? Okay, guys, this is going to be 
a very dangerous thing to deal with. So I'm sure you can hear. There's no lack of spiders. And that's because it borders an abandoned mine shaft. Lovely. They sound like they're above me. Oh! Seriously? I've taken full damage twice now this episode. This is just pathetic. Oh. Bastard. Trying to ambush me. I'll be having none of that. Whew. Ooh, down some more. I'm going to make sure I don't take fall damage again this time. Ooh, that's not good. I was trying to do that. Uh, hmm. I'm hoping there's a portal here. I'm gonna be in some serious trouble if there isn't, because that's the whole reason I came here. This abandoned mine shaft has really done well to completely screw things up. Apparently, if I would have went looking for a stronghold originally, though, I would have found an abandoned mine shaft. I probably could have got my melon seeds here. No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm going to do about this, guys. The only thing I know of to do at this very moment, though, is I'm going to block this up. Oops. Four? Yes. No. Crap. Being retarded. Block this up. Torch. 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 Okay, we're safe in here. I'm going to call this episode good, and we're going to find the Ender Portal on the next episode. So, I'll be back with you guys next time.